Guys, as we know, Jimmy Butler was literally inches away from a three-point shot that would have sent the Miami Heat to the NBA Finals. And so what if he makes that shot against the Celtics in Game 7 of the Eastern Conference Finals with 20 seconds down by two to put the Heat up by one point and they go on to win that game to play the Golden State Warriors in the NBA Finals? Well, guys, it is Halftime Productions. I hope you're having a great day. And that's what today's simulation is. We are making Jimmy Butler hit that shot against the Celtics so the Miami Heat get to play play the Golden State Warriors in the NBA Finals and we're doing a best of seven series simulation here in NBA 2K22 and this matchup is going to be so interesting again the Miami Heat were so close from being in the NBA Finals a lot of people think that Jimmy Butler's shot was bad honestly in some ways it is but also that's the best shot you're going to get if you call a timeout what other shot are you going to have I mean Max Struess had an incredible shot before that but an open three with your best player I mean I'm taking it every day of the week and I can speak on every Celtics fan's behalf when that shot went up from Jimmy Butler our heart just sank dude if he made that shot like, like there's another universe out there where Jimmy Butler hits that shot and the Celtics aren't in the finals and that's what today's video is all about and I would be literally like I don't know what I would do myself if he hit that shot. That would be one of the greatest shots in NBA history. But And I want you guys to comment down below your predictions for this series. The Miami Heat first of Golden State Warriors in the NBA Finals if it happened this year. I want to see all your comments right now below. Shout out to the people in the last 2K simulation up on the screen. Show love. I appreciate all your support. You guys have been killing the simulations. And without further ado, guys, we're going to get to the NBA 2K22 simulation right now. So go sit down, go relax, go grab your favorite sack, and let's get there right now. So we are here on the NBA 2K22. As you see, I have forced the win to meet the Golden State Warriors versus the Miami Heat in the NBA Finals. And man, what an interesting matchup this is going to be. But guys, remember to comment down your predictions right now on who do you think is going to win this series. And checking out the rosters real quick, we see the Miami Heat. Of course, Jimmy Butler, their best player, literally carried that team all the way in the playoffs. Bam Adebayo, he did his job. I mean, some people were hating on him because he didn't score that much. And Tyler Hero will be playing in the simulation. Probably going to put him on limited miss because of his injury. Then we see Pete. DJ Tucker, Cal Lowry, Max Struess. I mean, this dude made every clutch three. As a Celtics fan, it sucked to watch that dude make threes in the clutch. And the Golden State Warriors, obviously, their team is very special. Steph Curry, Andrew Wiggins, Klay Thompson, Dream on Green, Jordan Poole. But guys, it is now time to start this live series simulation here on 2K. The Warriors versus the Miami Heat. And we're going to begin this series off in Golden State because both these teams have the same record, but the Warriors have beaten the Miami Heat in the head-to-head. -head. And so everyone, go sit down, go relax, go grab your favorite sack. Who's going to take game one of the series let's find out we begin game one of the series in Golden State where Kyle Lowry's at the line he puts in the free throw to make it a six point game and the Miami Heat will take the first strike of the series as they'll take down the Warriors here in game one and if you're the Golden State Warriors the next game at home has to be a must win you can't lose back to back games in your arena and the Heat coming to Golden State they steal one 121 to 115 and as always we're going to check out the stats in game one Steph Curry had 26 points but he did not shoot very well 8 for 22 as the rest of the team also did not shoot very well they only lost this game by six points but we're gonna continue the Miami Heat look at Bam out about 29 13 and look at everybody else Jimmy Butler finally getting help in the simulation Butler with 25 Oladipo 26 Lowry 22 and the Miami Heat take game one but now it's time to head to game two of the series who's gonna take it let's find out We head to Golden State in game two where Jimmy Butler's at the line and he puts in the free throw as the Miami Heat have a one point lead with a minute to go. And things are tense in this building right now because the Heat have a chance to go up 2 0 and steal two games on the road as Curry finds Thompson. A three for the lead. He puts it in. Clay Thompson a huge three and he shoots the arrow in the crowd. I mean, that was big time right there. Again, the Warriors cannot afford to lose this game. And here's Jimmy Butler working on Andrew Wiggins. 45 seconds. Wiggins almost steals it. It goes to Tony. Now watch to Tyler Hero and back to Jimmy Butler. 40 on the clock. Now air on the shot clock. Jimmy Butler will he use the screen? Yes, he does. Butler has a lane. Goes to Tucker. Tucker blocked. Oh, what a defensive play from the Warriors. They're on the break. A chance to put the dagger right now into Miami and close out this game too. It goes to Curry. Curry on Hero. He has the mismatch. Really take him one on one. The Miami Heat have to double this. Here comes the screen. Curry shoots the three and the dagger. Off the mark. Rebound. Jimmy Butler. The Miami. He used their timeout and they are still in this game. 14 seconds remaining. Will Jimmy Butler take this shot or will he kick it out for somebody else to take it? Butler right now working on Wiggins. Shot clock is off. Down by two. Six seconds remaining. He goes to Hero. The sixth man of the year on Curry for the tie. 
and he missed it. Rebound, it's over. The Warriors take game two to even the series. The Miami, he had a good look. They just couldn't capitalize and would have finished as the series is all tied up. The stats after game two, Stephen Curry, 36 points. He came out. Jordan Poole also played very well, 27 points. Klay Thompson, 21, and they get the job done in game two. And for the Miami Heat, Bam Adebayo, he's right now on pace to win finals MVP if the Heat win it. He had 31-11-9. What a game for him. Jimmy Rutherford, 28-10. And, and we're now going to go to Miami for game three of this NBA series. Who's going to take game three? Let's go there now. We are all tied at 103 in Miami for game three. Who's going to take this series lead? Look at Steph Curry. Under a to go. He uses the screen. Curry the scoop layup. It's good. Oh, what a shot from Stephen Curry. And he puts the Warriors up by two. That's his 23rd point of the night. He hasn't shot very well. But he comes in clutch right there with that basket. And here come the Heat down by two. Under 45 seconds remaining. Lowry around the screen. Lowry back to Bam. Bam. Scores. Oh, what a pick and roll from the Heat. And they tie the game. 105, 105, 42 seconds seconds in Miami. Here comes Stephen Curry. Can the Heat stop this guy right now? He uses the screen. You gotta go up and look at Curry get take the three. He's off the mark and Miami is playing that pick and roll with Curry very well in the series as here comes Jimmy Butler. One on one with Clay Thompson. A chance to take the lead. Butler nothing right now. He's gonna take it all the way down. Shot clock at 11 seconds. Butler on the drive. Butler the pull up in the lead. It's no good. Rebound. Here come the Warriors. Out of timeout. It's Stephen Curry with 11 seconds. One on one with Kyle Lowry. He takes it back out. He's gonna hold for the final shot. And look at this. We have an away from the ball foul on Jimmy Butler. He can't believe it. And now going to the line to take the lead. Kayvon Looney. The first read though is no good. He might be feeling the pressure as the Warriors check in the rest of their players. 105 still. And all Looney needed to do is just to make one free throw. He's at the line for his second attempt. And he missed them both. Rebound Heat out of timeout. A chance to win this game. Bowler, Lowry for three. Bang! Are you serious? Miami takes the lead with two seconds. Curry. It's no good. And the Heat steal game three and take the series lead. Unbelievable. The Warriors choked this one. And they're now down two to one. What a game three, Miami. Kyle Lowry with 24 points, eight assists, and the game winner. Jimmy Butler with 24 and 12. Out of by with 15 and 16. Loki, the Heat shouldn't have won this game at all, and they came out clutch somehow. And the Warriors look at Stephen Curry, 23 points, but only shot five for 19. Not a very good game from him. And the rest of the guys, I mean, it wasn't too bad. But now we go to Miami for game four. The Miami Heat have the series lead at two to one. Can the Warriors bounce back? Let's find out. Guys, I'm not going to lie, I am very surprised the Miami Heat are going to go up 3-1 to one on the Golden State Warriors as they take game number 4, 117-97, and, and they're one game away from winning this NBA championship, and for the Warriors, can they come back from a 3-1 to one deficit? And Max Truce had 21 points, big game from him, and Bam Adebayo was having the best series of his career, almost a 20-20 game, and again, Jimmy Butler's teammates stepping up, resulting in wins for the Miami Heat, and now we go to the Golden State Warriors, Curry 6-18, for 18, Thompson 5-14, Wiggins 6 for 16. Everybody did not play well for them. And for the Warriors, they face elimination at home. Can they survive and advance to game six? Let's find out. And with this series on the line, the Golden State Warriors performing Game 5, 116 to 105. They'll beat the Miami Heat and force a Game 6. I mean, they have a chance to come back over a 3 1 deficit as they go on the road, though. But can the Miami Heat win next game and close out the series? A big time win, though, for the Warriors in Game Number 5. And as we go to the stats, Stephen Curry, 26 points. Klay Thompson, 21. Wiggins with 16. Everybody had a pretty solid game for the Warriors, and it resulted in a big time win for Game 5. And as we go to the Miami Heat, Bam out of by once again, 23 points. 12 rebounds, a great game from him. Jimmy Butler, almost a triple-double and six steals. He played amazing. And up 3-2, to two, the Miami Heat have a chance to win the championship on their home floor. Can they get it done? Let's find out. The Golden State Warriors have a three-point lead in game six. They're 38 seconds away from forcing seven. Here's Jimmy Butler down by three in the paint on Wiggins. He finds Bam, but it's stolen away. And Golden State on the break, a chance for the dagger. He goes to Wiggins. He's going to go for the dunk, but he's blocked by Bam out of bio. Oh my goodness, what a block. And the Heat have the ball down three. That will be one of the greatest finals blocks ever if they can win this championship right here, right now. It goes out. Now it's Jimmy Butler top of the key. They're going to go to Struz, a deep three. 
Oh my goodness, that was a three he hit against his cellies, but he couldn't convert right there. Nine seconds, and the Warriors have a three point lead, but look at his block again. Wiggins was gonna go for the jam, and Bam said no thank you. But this game comes to an end. The Golden State Warriors have came back from a three to one deficit to force game seven, and we have a winner go home situation as the Golden State Warriors win game six on the road. One away to 103, 33 and 10 from Jimmy Butler, five steals as well. Bam out of Iowa, 22 and 21 game unbelievable but the Miami Heat just can't win one to close out the championship it seems all they could do though is hope for a win on the road in game seven and for the Warriors Stephen Curry 34 and 10 as the Warriors can they complete this second 3-1 comeback in the NBA finals they need to finish it out though on their home floor as it's time for game seven of the series let's go Miami has blown a 3-1 lead, but they lead game 7 by 2 with 45 seconds. Can they close out the championship on the road? Oh, how can you leave Curry open? He scores. It's only a two-pointer, but still, how do you leave that man wide open? He puts in the basket, and we're all tied in game 7. These fans are on their feet. It goes to Struz. A 3. Struz. No. Bam. No. Rebound. The Warriors have a chance to take the lead. And Max Struz can't capitalize on any big threes in this series lately as it goes out to Jordan Bull. He doesn't take a three, and the Warriors looking for a dagger right now. 16 seconds, each team on a timeout, and there's about a five second shot differential. Oh, they run a double screen for Curry. Bang! Curry hits the three off the pin down screen, and the Warriors have a three point lead. Under 10 seconds, here's Lowry. Seven, six, brother for the tie. No good, balls loose, rebound Looney, and the Warriors are going to do it, they're going to come back from a 3-1 to deficit, Eric Spolster is hot, and Curry puts in the free throw to make it a 5 point game, they made both, and it's all over, the Warriors have beaten the Miami Heat in 7 games to win the series, unbelievable comeback, what a game 7, and for the Miami Heat, Heartbreak and disbelief. They blow a 3 to 1 lead in this simulation. And what a simulation. So many crazy moments in this best of seven series. Let me know down below your favorite moment as Curry is celebrating with his fans. And I want you guys to also tell me which series I should do next. Give me two teams. And, anyways, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. You guys are seriously all the goats. I read every single one of your comments. Curry wins finals MVP. It's top 10 reductions. And we out. Wow.